Hi, Nick here, and today I wanted to show you how we use panning and zooming on still images to give the effect of a video. Uh, this is particularly good for estate agents, hotels, works very well with rooms where you just take a photo and then you pan it around, zoom in and out, and it gives that motion. This is how we do it in Premiere Pro. Okay, here we are in Premiere Pro, and uh, I've already downloaded some photos, as you can see, uh, and they're in my little bin here. So I've just dragged these across. They are the pink bits, and we have the logo at the front. So that's okay, and there's a photo. And what we want to do is, is this pan and zoom effect. So that's just a photo of this house that's up for sale. Very nice house, by all accounts. So what, in this one, we're gonna zoom in. So we want to click on our scale button. And that's gonna give us a keyframe. Now let's put the keyframe right in the middle. And we want that right at the beginning. So just drag that across. So that is our, our start position. And as you can see, it doesn't change at all at the moment but we want our end position, we want it to be scaled. So, click another keyframe, and that's the one where we're gonna scale up. So, on this scale bit, 34, we can uh, get these two little arrows, so we can just drag that across. And you don't wanna make it too big, otherwise it's gonna look crazy and, and really fast. So, Got our end, our start, Let's see what that looks like. There you go. A nice slow zoom up. So for this next picture, obviously we've got a balcony and a little bit of a view, but we can't really see much. So I think to make it a little bit more interesting and not just have it plain, we can, uh, let's get to the beginning of our clip. And this time I want to actually start it focusing in on that church spire. So we want to scale it up. And then here we've got the position. So we want to position it. So I'm going to drag it to the right. And then drag it, oops, drag it up. So we got the... There we go. There you go. So we're starting with the spire. And we want to find a finish point. So let's put our keyframes in there. So there are our little keyframe markers. So that's the point we're going to get to. And so we want to then zoom that back out. So uh, let's zoom that back to somewhere it nearly was. Just bring that across. So we can actually see the house. Now when we play the clip, we're starting off at the spire and then coming in to the balcony. So with these two pictures, we've used a zoom in effect, so scaling up. And then in the second one, we've zoomed out again and also panned down. Now this picture is quite interesting. So it's showing a lovely uh, lounge, lovely flooring. Um, but I wanna do a a pan from left to right. So there's our picture. So I want to start off somewhere in this right hand corner. So I need to zoom in a touch. And then I can bring the picture up. And what I want to do is just pan across from one side to the other. So there are our two anchor points. Or our two keyframes. And I'm going to put another keyframe in here and here. And I'm going to move it, oops, not up and down. So I want to move it to the side. And this is going to give it a nice, a nice pan shot. A nice left to right. Oop, not all the way, that's it. Just so we cover that. So now when we look at the clip, we're starting there and we're just moving from left to right. And it just gives it that 
element of uh, motion and that just holds the eye and it's nice and slow it doesn't take too long so here I've done another one which actually I've already pre-done this one so this one is now coming back in again and across here's one in the kitchen but it's a little bit juddery and that's because we little keyframes are they're not at the beginning not at the end so I just want to make sure those keyframes are at the beginning and end of each shot so on that one the same so we don't want it sticking because we want to make it look as fluid as we can so let's run it from there and that's just putting keyframes in and zooming in and out and scaling up and down so they're moving quite nicely now I just want to check all my other keyframes, just want to move them a touch. And as you can see, they just link from one frame to another. So we just want to make that just a little bit more, um, a little softer on the eye. So we're going to put a couple of little transitions in. So here we go down to the, the, mm, the effects. And we're going to have a dip. Let's have a dip dissolve. I quite like dip to white. Now yeah, we'll stick that on the. So just pop them in the middle of your timeline. So let's have a look how that one works. Yeah, I quite like it, but actually I think I prefer to delete that. I prefer a cross dissolve. There we go. See what that one looks like. That's much nicer. Not harsh at all. So I just need to drag and drop these into my clips. See how these transition. Perfect. I say perfect, just need to knock my ears back. So now we've got our movement and our transitions all nice and smooth. We need to put in a finish it off with just a little bit of uh, a little bit of audio. Uh, this was my friend Lucy giving her voice. And just make sure that the, the voice isn't too loud. And we'll have a little bit of music as well. I downloaded some lovely piano music earlier on. So to give it a little back, backdrop. And we just literally drag and drop those into the timeline in the audio. Okay, so we're pretty good to go now, I think. The only thing I've done is I've actually stuck in on our audio track there. I've just put in a... In audio transition um, yeah exponential fade and I put that at the front and the back because that then just lets the music flow in and towards the end just lets it flow out without coming to an abrupt halt Yeah, so it just fades out. A bit of a longer video today, uh, but I just thought I'd share with you how we create these little montage type videos um, in Premiere Pro. Yes, you can get other software, which costs actually more a month than Premiere Pro. You can just drag and drop, but you don't have that control um, that you do with a proper editing software suite, which is why I like Premiere Pro so much. Hope you found that interesting, hope you found that helpful. If you did, of course, please like it, share it, comment it. If you want to know any other little things, then obviously I'll, I'll try and make a tutorial about those too. Otherwise, it'll be potluck what you get next time. <laughs> Take care, bye-bye.